Hi, this is Simon with Nikki Blaine's Cocktail Lounge, and we're here today to talk about cigars and the proper technique for uh, cutting cigars. Uh, many times uh, people will go into an establishment and order themselves a fine cigar, and the cigar sommelier will say, well, how would you like that cut? And they look with a blank expression, and they don't know how to answer the question. So what we're going to try to do today is go through uh, the different types of uh, cigar cutters and the proper way to uh, cut a cigar and uh, hopefully by the time we conclude you'll have a good feel for it and uh, can enjoy uh, a good cigar and the pleasures that go along with it. Uh, the first type of cutter that we have here is what's called a double guillotine straight cut and these these cutters are a lot better than the, than the single guillotine which I will show you in a minute um, because it grabs the cigar and can then give a good quick snap and be much more accurate with where you're actually placing the cigar. The other type of cutter we have is what's called a single blade guillotine. And these, these cutters are, are, are pretty good, uh, but what typically happens is, is uh, towards the end of your cut, it's forced to push the tobacco in between the two um, parts of the holder and can pinch the cigar and not give you a clean cut. So I prefer the double-edged um, guillotine rather than the single-edged guillotine. Uh, the other type of cutter that we have is a notch cutter. And as you can see, this, this cutter has two built into one, which is a nice feature. And that puts a V-type uh, notch into the cigar and is also another uh, way to, uh, to uh, enjoy uh, the type of cut that you have on the cigar. We also have what's called a punch. And this has a uh, double uh, punch on it, a larger uh, ring gauge uh, punch, and a smaller ring gauge punch, uh, depending on what your personal taste is. And we'll show you how to uh, use uh, all of these in the correct uh, fashion. Uh, the first uh, cigar that we have is a CEO Gold Robusto, and it's one of our favorites here at Nikki Blaine's. Uh, very nice, uh, easy uh, cigar to smoke. Um, but we need to talk a little bit about cigar construction. And all well-made cigars uh, have uh, around the wrapper on the end, and as you can see, this is a barrel type cigar. But if you look really closely, you can see that there's a cap on it. And the cap is really your gauge for how you want to cut the cigar. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our cutter and we are going to look for the cap on the cigar. And as you can see, right where it rounds, just as the round starts to go towards the center of the cigar, that's where we want to start and put our blade. So we're going to take the cigar and we're going to find where that's at. And we're just going to put a light little pinch on it, not cut it quite yet. And then we're going to make sure that the cigar is completely centered and completely perpendicular. We've just grabbed just enough to cut the cigar. I'm going to place it over our ashtray. And then very quickly, with authority, we're going to close it. Boom. You should hear that snap. And then you can see that we have a nice, even, cut to the cigar. One important thing to remember about when you're cutting a cigar is that um, there are different levels that you can use to determine how much you want the cigar to draw. And it will come from experience. Uh, some people like to take the cigar and just literally touch the cutter to the edge of the cap and just take the top layer of wrapper off. I find that when you use that type of cut, typically the cigar does not draw very well. A little further down on the cigar is going to make the cigar draw nicely. Some people like to completely eliminate the cap and they use the divider where the cap starts and where the cigar starts to determine right where they want to cut and that's called a deep cut. All of them are correct. It just depends on what your taste is and how much you want the cigar to draw. Some cigars, as you will gain experience, some cigars do better with a lighter cut. Some cigars do better with a deeper cut. And as you uh, develop your uh, cigar expertise, which I certainly hope you will, 
um, you will uh, decide which way you want to go. The next thing we have is a the next cigar is a is, a, is an Avo uh, number nine, a smaller cigar than the Cao Gold Robusto, very flavorful, um, and it lends itself to a notch cut very well. It's got a little bit thicker cap on it, and we're going to take the cigar, and what we're going to do is we're going to take the label and we're going to put the label straight up and down, and we're going to take our notch cut, and we're going to make it to where we're completely perpendicular and we're gonna look at it and then again with authority we're gonna we're gonna close the cutter and we're gonna get a nice we're gonna get a nice cut on that and that put a complete v-notch cut into the cigar in fact we can take it just a little bit deeper if we like See if we get a little bit more tobacco. There we go. That's a little bit better. There we go. Now you can see that put a complete B notch cut in the cigar. Many people like a notch cut better. Um, the thing about the notch cut is you have to have a notch cut uh, cigar cutter to uh, to be able to achieve that. And uh, many people don't have one of those. Uh, most cigar shops or uh, cigar clubs or, or cigar bars. Uh, will have a notch cut if you request it. I really like a notch cut. I think it lends itself to smoking a cigar very nicely. A um, little less tobacco gets in your mouth. Uh, one thing about a notch cut is, like a punch that we're going to get into here in a little bit, is uh, it, 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 it is not as much circumference for the smoke to come through, and after a while it can maybe draw, not draw so well. So many people will start off with a notch, they'll smoke it for about half the cigar, and they'll come along and they'll go ahead and put a cut on it and uh, get it to draw again. Just depends on the cigar and, and, and how, you, uh, how you like to uh, smoke them. So that's the Avo with the notch cut. Next we have uh, a straight punch. And the punch is a very nice, and you can see this is a uh, Gloria Cubana Serie R Esteli, which is a much darker cigar than the rest of these, which usually means that it's going to be a little oilier and is going to have a, uh, a little bit uh, stronger uh, taste to it. Uh, this cigar, Gloria Cubanos in particular, lend themselves to being punched uh, very nicely. And how we're going to do it is we're going to take our punch, and many times punches come with what they're called bullet punches, and they'll come in a little thing that looks like a bullet, and you'll pull it out. Uh, this is actually attached to my uh, lighter because we do this professionally. Uh, we we need our punches to be readily available at all times. This one is actually built right into the lighter. Uh, this lighter happens to be a jet line, which I have found to be the best uh, commercial uh, lighter uh, out there. A little bit of a shameless plug there. Um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and give this a nice uh, a nice punch. We're going to take our finger and we're going to put it over the hole of the punch. Then we're going to center the punch into the cigar and then grasp it between our fingers twisting as you can see me twisting leaving room for the punch plug as it's called to come through now we're all the way down inside you can see parallel centered parallel centered we're gonna twist and we're just with a little bit of pull we're going to pull that right out of there. And we're going to clean it up a little bit. And as you can see, it puts a perfect hole right into the top of the cigar. Many people with the larger ring gauge cigars like a punch. And uh, punches, as I say, they come in different sizes. Uh, I like a punch every now and then just to, just to mix it up and have it different. Uh, again, like the notch cut. The cigars can get a little bit oily. Your draw can be inhibited, and you just go ahead and uh, and, and put a put a cut on it. Uh, there's no uh, no real set rules to it. Uh, just kind of some guidelines, and uh, whatever enhances your enjoyment of the cigar is is really what it's what it's all about. Some fine cigars, uh, especially cigars. Uh, that's uh, come out of uh, Cuba uh, have what is called a pigtail. And many times, as you can see on this, 
it has a pigtail, which is literally where they've taken the wrapper and they spin it around and they make it look like a curl or cue of an ice cream cone. And they do that for a reason. Uh, this cigar does not need a cutter. Uh, what you do is you take a hold of the curl -a -cue, or the pigtail right here and you just snap it off and snap it off pull it off and you have a perfect punch and these these are nice for like a golf bag or or uh, you know keeping in a glove box of your car where you don't have all of your equipment with you you can just take it pop off the pigtail and good to smoke the only bad thing about it is if you do get to start to get the you know an inhibited draw or it starts to feel like it's uh, not drawing well uh, you're stuck with either a toothpick or uh, or something like that to, to, to clear it out um, but that is also a, uh, a type of cigar that you'll know once you if you see one that has a pigtail you will know what to do with it many people say how do I know where to cut a torpedo type cigar and uh, there's several different uh, ways to uh, cut a torpedo it also has a cap on it and can be determined gauge or as far as you know do where you want it how you want it to fit it in your mouth um, but one thing that we like to do here at Nikki Blaine's uh, which we were actually showed by uh, a representative from uh, La Flora Dominica uh, which is it was a very fine cigar and they have a cigar called the chisel and it's kind of wide and looks pretty much like a chisel and we didn't know how to cut it because it doesn't fit in any conventional cutter you can't really notch it we really didn't know what to do with it so we asked them what how they recommended we cut the cigar and they said well we typically don't cut them the same with our torpedo cigars we like to punch them and we had, in, in all our years in the cigar business, we had never heard of that before. So we asked him to demonstrate it. And since that time, we seldom uh, use a straight cut on torpedo type cigars. So I'm going to show you how to really impress your friends and uh, do something they may have never seen before. Uh, we are going to punch a torpedo cigar. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to put a punch on the top and on the bottom directly straight back from the top of the label. As you can see this is an Oliva. It's a very very fine cigar. It's made by Davidoff. This is the Series 5. Um, nice, rich, oily, great cigar to have uh, with a cup of, uh, of your favorite coffee or uh, perhaps a nice scotch or a bourbon. Uh, very very good cigar. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna put our index finger under the cigar and we're going to take our punch and we're going to put it just far enough down to where we're about three quarters of the distance of the width of the cigar and you can see that this one has several caps on it along the way the way it's way it's around and we're going to catch ourselves just above the cap and dead center from here we're going to hold it and with authority twist Just keep twisting till it goes down, and then we're going to pull that out. Kind of manicure it a little bit. Sometimes it's okay just to take your punch, and you can see that that is a perfect punch in the top of that cigar. Turn it over, and do the same thing directly on the back side. You can just take your finger and put it on the other punch. Same distance, equidistance there. And carefully. Very important to keep twisting it. Just back and forth, just to get the blades to cut. And then the same thing again. And we're going to pull that out. You can see you got to manicure it a little bit. But these types of cigars punch very nicely. Now, you would say, why do I want to do that? Well, first of all, it retains the shape of the torpedo cigar. It's very, very nice to be able to put it straight into your mouth. It just really smokes well. It draws beautifully this way. You don't get any tobacco in your mouth, like so much of the time. That's the downside to the straight cut, is you end up with tobacco in your mouth. 
and nothing more embarrassing than smiling somebody and having a piece of tobacco in your teeth. This prevents that from happening. It's my favorite way to uh, smoke a torpedo type cigar. Uh, it lends itself very well uh, to this uh, to this cigar, especially the Oliva, because it's a nice, rich, uh, oily cigar, and uh, we'll smoke that way. If it starts to if the draw starts to get inhibited, nothing wrong with taking your straight cut, your double guillotine, and putting it straight over the cigar, right here, and with authority, give it a good clip, and then you're good to go. Because many times a punch will get oily and will do your draw will start to behave it. And it's okay. Just go ahead and give it a cut. So just a quick review. Uh, we have the straight cut, which could be from shallow to deep. We have the notch cut, one of my favorites. We have the straight punch. We have the pigtail. Just twist it, pull it off good to go. And then the very special double punch on the torpedo type cigar. Make sure you do that because I guarantee your friends have never seen that before. You will impress them and uh, you can say that uh, Simon from Nikki Blaine's Cocktail Lounge uh, showed you how to do that. Anyway, best of luck. Enjoy your cigar smoking. Thank you.